Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another embroidery project, Cricut project, kind of both. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take an image, a PDF that you perhaps bought as a pattern, an embroidery pattern, and turn that into a PNG or a design file that you can actually upload to Cricut Design Space so that you can get your Cricut to draw your actual pattern onto your fabric for you instead of having to trace it. So when you purchase a pattern or you find one free online, a lot of times they come as a PDF because almost everyone has a PDF reader. You can print it out, use tracing paper to put it on your design. But for those of us with a Cricut or another cutting type uh, machine, they draw with pens. It's easy enough to pop that file into Cricut Design Space and have it draw your file in a couple of minutes as opposed to spending hours tracing all those details. Now with something like this teeny tiny little dachshund in a raincoat, it wouldn't be that long to trace. That might be faster, but for some of these larger files with a lot more design and a lot more detail, drawing can be a lot easier, especially if like me, you have arthritis in your wrists and drawing those designs can take a while. Uh, this is much faster <laughs> and easier. So today all we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to take that PDF file. I'm going to be showing you with this little guy because he's very easy and simple to do, how to take that PDF file, convert it to a file that Cricut Design Space can read and then upload it and change that file into something that Cricut can draw instead of cut. So let's go ahead, pop over to Cricut Design Space and get started. At the end of that, if you need a little bit of help actually drawing the design, I will do that in a separate video since it's a bit of a longer process and I will link that down below. Let's get started. In order to upload our design into Cricut Design Space so that we can get our Cricut to draw the pattern onto our fabric, we need to do a little work with our design. Nine times out of 10, if you have purchased a file, not downloaded it from a free website, a lot of the freebies are PNGs, but a lot of the ones you purchase are PDFs like these two. So I purchased this larger design of these cute dachshunds uh, from Get Stitch Done. You can see she has a lot of different designs. You can go follow her. I liked her dachshunds, so those are the ones I purchased. And when I did that, I also received, let's see, I don't have it open, this free doggy pattern, which is a little doggy and a raincoat. And so this is what I'm gonna show you how to upload to Cricut because it's pretty small and will be very quick. You can do this with larger patterns, it just will take more time. So in order to convert this to a JPEG, I am going to simply duplicate it and I'm going to delete, literally just hitting the delete button, the first and the third pages from this document. This is all on my Mac. So if you have a um, PC, you'll have to use a different program. I'm just in preview. You can typically do this with Adobe Reader or any of the Illustrator um, Photoshop properties. You can also do this online in Canva or PicMonkey. But since I'm on a Mac, this makes it really easy. And I'm just showing you with what I have. So from here, I'm going to hit save. And instead of saving this guy as a PDF, I'm going to save him as a PNG. Save him in our downloads, because why not? Now I'm going to back out of this, and I'm going to open that copy, which here it is. And I am going to go ahead and crop it just down to the image we actually want to upload to Cricut Design Space because we don't want all the rest of this. Perfect. So now I have a file that I can upload to Cricut Design Space and work with. You can see all the, the images I've been working on lately. So in downloads, we're gonna search. You can see that this one, our PNG, is clickable, whereas the uh, other two, the PDFs are not. So we're gonna open this. I always click complex because I want as much detail as possible. 
With this image, it is pretty simple. So you could really probably go with the simple or moderately complex images and be fine. I'm just always going to go with complex. So from here, we want to remove the background. If we preview this right now, it's going to just be a square because there's a background. So say we just take the background off. Now it's going to cut out just the outside shape. So as much of that white background as you remove, and I'm only removing it by literally clicking right on the parts I want to remove, that is as much detail as we will see. So right now we have the, the puppy's face, but not his nose, not his raincoat, not his feet. So we're going to click anywhere there's white. So you can see like with that larger dachshund image, we'll have to click all those white areas out of the design. Completely possible, it just takes longer. And of course you can zoom in for more detailed images. So right now, if we preview this guy, we have all of our lines, which is the goal. I'm going to hit apply. We want a cut image. We're not printing then cutting. We are cutting. We're going to name him Dachshun in a raincoat. You don't need to name him, but it does make it easier. Perfect. So now we've got this guy ready to go. You can see this is an image I purchased of Santorini that I'm doing. Mom and I are going to Greece next month and I'm going to take this pattern with me to work on on the beach. But, you know, as much time as you want to spend, here's that larger image, the full dachshund. You can really upload and take out the background for any images that you'd like. It's just going to take longer time. A longer time. So let's add this guy to our canvas. There he is, super cute. I'm gonna do this guy on a teeny tiny little hoop, so I want him to be two and a half by three. I actually need him to be two and a half tall. So there we go. And our last step is we are going to take this from a cut image to a drawing image. So now our pen is going to draw each and every one of these lines. Now the only problem with an image like this is it's going to put a line on either side of those lines. It can't draw just one line for that big black line, which would be better. Um, but that's not a deal breaker for me. I use a heat erasable pen. And so if there's ever a part of the line that you don't want to use, you can just use a heat gun or a small iron and erase it. So from here, We'll go ahead and we will just draw this directly onto our fabric. So that is how you upload any uh, design PNG PDF into Cricut Design Space so that you can draw it on your actual fabric. Let's go ahead and draw this guy real quick and uh, then we'll be done. I will embroider him, but I'll do that in a separate video. All right, so before we hit go, let's just go ahead and move this guy over. So the middle's at two and a half, and the middle's at two and a half. That way he will draw in the right place for our fabric. And we'll go ahead, connect that maker three. We're going to select cotton. Perfect, and it's going to tell us to load our pen, which we already have in the side A. We don't, we're not cutting, so we don't need anything MB, and we're good to go.